Hey folks, Mike Kehoe here, of IBM i2, and I look after our worldwide accounts for fraud and financial crimes. So today, if you give me two or three of your minutes, I'm going to explain how i2 can help in money laundering and how we can investigate that. Now many of us already know the three phases of money laundering. Of course, it's going to be placement, layering, and integration, in other words, extraction. So how do you start to investigate each one of those stages? So let's pick first, let's take a look at the one which is placement. And placement is putting the money into the system without getting caught. Now, of course, you can't just rock up and put in a million dollars if you can't show where they came from. So what you try to do is you try to mix it and uh, across many, many places. Our job in I2 is to look at the patterns of placement. Can we discover are the individuals connected together, maybe in the same place of work? Have they used the same IP address to lodge their money and check their accounts? Have the, the immune accounts and have those op, uh, OCRs, which are organized crime things, overtaken those accounts and we can connect those. So we try to connect all the placement accounts using many, many different sub layers of connections. So should they be successful and they move forward, then they're going to try to layer. And this is then moving money around between companies that could be fictitious or not to try to shake off the rules engines, to try to have as many permutations and combinations as possible. And we see this called flipping, where they move account money in and out and in and out of other accounts. Well, I too can spot that. We can take a look at the patterns of monies moving from an account, out of an account. We can see what is the connection over time, what is the connection over hops. We can take a look at spurious uh, transactions. And then if it's connected to shelf companies, bringing in data from various data suppliers, we can see, well, what do we know about that company? What do we know about those individuals? Can we prove beneficial ownership in real time? So even as monies are moved around in the uh, uh, layering process, we're watching it, and we can start to show the bedrock. And again, if the uh, organized crime has been successful, and they're going to then move it to extractive, we can use link analytics to start to look at using eigenvectors, well, where what's most influential node, where's the money coming from, where's it's all joining. So even before it's extracted, we actually start to see it reassemble, and then we can pinpoint, and of course pass it over to the MLRO, the Money Laundering Reporting Officer, to say, stop, we believe this is the final stage in money laundering. So, should you wish to learn more, uh, please contact me at this email, or this address, and I would love to show you the power of IBM i2 for financial crimes investigation. Thank you very much.